My name is Frank Romeo, and I suffer from post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD. In order to bring attention to PTSD, Vietnam veteran Frank Romeo walked across New York State from Buffalo to Bayshore. His journey was documented in the film Walk with Frank. Suffolk County legislator Steve Flotterin was so moved by the film's message that he partnered with the Islip Arts Council, Good Samaritan Hospital, and other organizations to help spread the message. It's one of those things after I got to see Frank's film, we need people to talk about it. The talking about it is like working with the Islip Arts Council, which has its connections, these veterans groups. We all come as a whole. We're a lot stronger as a community, and we're a lot stronger about getting the PR out. So. People in Westchester are maybe going to hear about what we did in Bayshore tonight. What's being done is an art exhibition at the Islip Arts Council's satellite gallery called Their Story, which features the creative work of veterans. The art here is great. You have to come see it. What I like about it, one, it's all veteran artists, all from the area, and each one has a different way of art of expressing themselves. Pop in here with your family, support these artists. You might find something that might be great for your house, your family, and the, and the pieces are for sale. To be one of the artists considered and then accepted into the show is very humbling for me. When I served in 1968 to 1970, it was the Vietnam era, and all our military in those days, we were, we were not really thought of very highly. So to participate with these other veterans and all of their art is very meaningful to me in a special way. The majority of my photographs are snapped actually while I kayak Long Island waters. And it's pretty amazing to be able to see this type of nature so close to home. I had a, a head injury when I was in the service. Then I had a TIA later on in, in life. And for some reason, um, when I eventually moved to Northport, uh, this artistic talent just like really took off. And I was, became associated with the art program at Northport VA. They really um, fostered my art. There's no rhyme or reason. What comes over me is, depends on the mood of the painting, really. I could paint for hours or just for a half an hour. I will usually just stare at the work. Sometimes months will go by. The one on the end of my grandson took me over a year to paint. I come from the 40s, and I remember the air raid sirens. I realized that I had no control over anything, and I was a child. So I found clay, basically, a big hunk of clay, and I would take it and I would create my own world. I finally had control of something. I call it what if, that's my theory of art. What if I do this? So I got to the point where I just make cuts, 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 connect the dots, smooth it out a little bit, stand back and say, what did I do? Oh, look at that, and then follow through. When I joined the military, I tried to look for the most creative job that I could find. So I said, okay, well, I'll try photography. And I couldn't even put film in the camera. It was film at that time. So the military really taught me everything I know now about photography. My work, it comes from tragedy and loss, um, and not necessarily loss of a person, but uh, loss of self, you know, loss of a, an identity, loss, just loss in general. You know, if you're looking for like puppy dogs and ice cream, that's not gonna happen with me. <laughs> that's not gonna happen with me. We all have a certain level of PTSD, especially when they're just coming out. I was always looking at my watch, like I had to be somewhere, but I had no place to be. And I didn't feel important, because I left something where I was so crucial to the grand scheme of everything, right? You're responsible for someone else's life and for your own and you have all these experiences. So when you lose all of that, no matter how ready you think you are, it's terrible. Of course, using the arts, they can escape for a little while, whether they paint, sculpt, do photography, they can escape from their troubles for, uh, for a bit. And if you know someone that is suffering in silence and not participating, you need to put your hand out, if nothing else, just to talk to them.